What's up guys? So today we're going to be checking out a game on Roblox called The Liminal Archives. And this is supposed to be inspired by experiences such as like the Liminal Space games, Backrooms, etc. And it's about as much as I know of this. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to throw a sound back on because there actually was music playing over this menu. But I didn't know if it was going to be louder than my voice or not. So I turned it off for the time being. But I'm going to turn it back on and we're going to jump in and see what we get into. Yeah, I don't know how loud this actually is, but if I go in here, you can see... Oh, wait. Wrong one. Okay, you can see down here, I have volume all the way down. And if I go one more, it just shuts it off. So, I don't know how loud it actually is, but we're going to go ahead and start the game. Um, so how much all do we... The mannequins in darkness and left behind. And there's actually a good amount of levels, too. So... Let's just start the lobby. I'm really curious of how this is going to play. Set graphics to max and use headphones for best experience. Let's see. Now I like how that little thing, it literally just said the back rooms. Now I'm curious because I know a lot of like liminal space type games are supposed to be like straightforward. Uh, where am I? How did I get here? I need to get out. But I know like a lot of the uh, liminal experience games like it's just straightforward. There's not really much to worry about. But I know it did mention mentioned something about there being monsters in this game as well. Now, I don't know if that's certain levels or what, but I'm sure we'll find out. What is this? So, what does that mean? Excuse me, what? What? No, what, what does that mean? So is it saying we want to stay in the light? Now those breathing sounds are not me, by the way. That's actually the character in this game. Kind of running because I don't know what to expect. Oh shit, yep, there's something, there's something. Oh, I just saw that. <laughs> Wait, do we go in here? What does this mean, though? Dude, I don't like this. I do what? <laughs> this is a crazy take. So I'm confused. Should I have not have should I not have went that way?
Okay. Was that us getting out? Oh, I guess that was. Okay. I like this little soundtrack, though. So, this initial video, I don't know how many of these levels we're going to explore. Well, this is a bit different. Yeah, compared to the last area we were just in, I'd say so, too. The air is humid, you feel relaxed. Well, yeah. But I know there's, as we got to see, there's, like, numerous... Is there something? Maybe it's just the way it looks. It looks like there's something in the water, but... Yeah, I know it showed that there's a lot of levels, but I don't plan on going through all of them in this video because that would probably take hours, and I don't really have hours to just sit here and play or record. So, can we walk in the water? Or is that a no? Let's just find out. Okay, yeah, we're here. trying to see, I see this down here, but it's not letting me do anything. So I didn't realize it was still on, even though I messed with it already. Oh, there was a... See, I thought this was a dead end. Especially when it comes to like stuff like the back rooms, or even some of the like different games like I've been playing and seeing, such as like finding anomalies and stuff like that. Because there was another game I saw that I was debating about playing, but then I saw this one, and it was another anomaly-based game where you had to go through levels and try to find them all and proceed. What? Part of it. Oh, that's. F oh, this is fucked. This is most terrible down here, like rotten fish. Oh, that's that's great. But yeah, there's gonna be. Or there's another game I was gonna play that was based on doing, like multiple passes through levels, and having to find or having to find and report the anomalies. But I was decided to hold off on that one because this one kind of seemed interesting. So what do we got? So find three valves, plus one button. Watch out, danger. Oh, great. So we've got something in here. I'm curious, what is this danger that we gotta look out for?
hear footsteps. It sounds like there's something in here. Yeah, something, whatever that is, is inside the room. Curious, can that get me if I'm in here? Oh, what the fuck was that? I heard that. Valve number one. So it said three valves and a button. I think we'll leave the doors open. That way I know where I have and haven't been already. Oh, that must be the exit. This is where I want to go. Dude, that's so much creepier with the lights out. So literally, whatever the thing is, it will not go into small rooms. Now I know that. Oh, that 
that thing was right there. valves and a button. Why does it look like the thing from A Quiet Place? Don't start that music. Come on. That's fucked. So even, okay, so it gives you like unlimited chances it seems like, but it seems like if you get caught you're just gonna get, you just have to start back at the beginning. But it doesn't get rid of your progress. That's exactly what it is, it's sweet. Dude, that section was actually crazy. Okay, so you don't lose your progress if you get caught. You just get sent back to the beginning of the level. That's good to know. Now, I hope these don't all have threats in them. Because I would like to have some experiences where you can just explore. I guess that wasn't the way out. How big is this place? Okay, don't look at it, find three buttons. You uh, son of a bitch. See what happens if you go this way.
drum roll. What? Was there just, there was nothing in here? Okay. Oh, this is. find the other two buttons. It's like a whole city. Oh! I'm not looking. It said don't look at it. So that's exactly what... Oh! I was gonna say, like, how am I supposed to go by? Let's go back this way and see what happens. I just look down or I can't look at all Okay, so it's kind of on timers, in a sense. That's good. So now we're back here. What is the purpose of this? Is this just always light, like you're saving here? And I never went in this door, so this must be one that I'm missing. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? It... So now we gotta go find our way back to that, like, train station terminal thing that we found. Fuck. Shh. Oh. I'm Blair Witching. down there. What the fuck? Well, I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, we literally just gotta get through here now. Wait, I thought... Wait. What? Okay, 
Okay, so we're missing something. But I don't know what it is. Is it something with this? No. What? I don't understand. What am I missing? something over here. What's... Not going to the terminal after all? I'm stupid. Well, I mean, I guess I wouldn't have known because I didn't know there was the pathway still. So, left behind, where's this? Start this shit. machine's just in the middle of the stage? Okay. Hmm. I feel like I don't trust that one. Even though that would be the most likely place to go. somewhere, okay. Oh, he's gone. Well, let's see, we haven't even gone over here yet. I don't bother you guys, you don't bother me. I like the sound of that. So I guess we're just gonna go back now? Yeah, there's just nothing else over here I can do, so... Sure. Let's... Oh, it must have opened this.
just wanted to test and see if it was going to pull that Weeping Angel shit. seen that once move. Yeah. Let's, oh. Oh. No. No, no, no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Dude, I don't like this. I'm running. Wait. What? Where am I supposed to go? Wait. What? Dude, this is crazy. How like the whole environment just changed up on me like that? Are they following me? No. Dude. Okay, that's clearly locked. So it looks like we have to go around here. Oh, fuck off. Is it... it Dude, are you fucking kidding me right now? <sighs> Please tell me that that's just meant to be like creepy because holy shit. Oh my god. See, like, I already knew if they had moved because I'd seen it. I think we'll do this in one more section, and then we're going to call it for this video. What is this? Okay, so it's... Have I been here before? This feels familiar. Well, I can definitely feel a sense of nostalgia. No, I don't. So, A and C are both 1 and false, B is 0 and true. Okay. A1 and C1. So, A1 and C1, those are both false, and B is 0. Wait, right? Yeah, because B stays 0. I don't understand this. Oh, okay. So, breaking news, fatal car accident. Well, 
last night there was a fatal car accident involving four people. Three people died in the crash, and one is currently in the hospital with life-threatening injuries and is on life support. He reportedly was dead for 17 minutes before being able to be revived by doctors. This is one of the worst car accidents this year. Okay, so we're already getting some kind of... What? Why don't you understand? Give up. What is it you were looking for? Um, I don't know. I thought maybe I was supposed to just try to get out of here. But that's just me. Excuse me, what? Oh, it's music. I was about to say, what? Okay. So we know C is supposed to be... No. B was the only true one. If we get, went off that like little formula we saw. So yeah. Yeah. A equals one, which is false. Oh. Okay, okay. So yeah. So B is zero. Which is true. Right? Wait. Okay, this is some weird math shit. Let me look at this. What's in this room? Nothing? Was, oh yeah, it was just a switch. So... so confused right now. What? Oh, do we have to actually set it? So it says that on there? So I don't think we did that before. Okay, I really don't understand this. Is there something I'm missing? Like, was there something in this? Oh, I can't even look at that again. I'm literally confused right now. Is there another option? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I didn't know that. Wait. Oh, I'm stu I didn't even notice that it did that. Hold on. Now I just confused myself after looking at everything. So A and C are both one and false.
I might have just started to figure this out. Oh, oh, I am so dumb. Okay, so it's, it's not... Now it makes sense. Alright, I think now we have it. Because B should be zero. Yeah. I think I just really overcomplicated that. Yep, that's literally all it was. I overcomplicated that whole thing. Oh, great, so now we gotta find our way out. Stairs, let's go. Pools. Ooh, I like this. Can this one just be peaceful as well? This place seems nice. Yeah, they all do though, don't they? The hair smells clean like fresh soap. I think now you're starting to think a little too much into this bud. Oh, you can't even go in? Wait. I can't go that way? Oh, no, I can't. I just couldn't go around that side for some reason. This looks really crazy. Sorry, I don't know. Why, like, I know I don't have to be like running right now. Oh, rubber duck, give me. See, this is the kind of pool worms I would love to just like float around in. just to find your way out kind of thing. Or at least that's the vibe I'm getting. Join us at the Neon Pools. July 17, 2008 at 12 p.m. Take a dip at the greatest indoor pool in the world. July 17, 2008. I would have been 12 years old. I was born in March of 96. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't like that something had moved. I thought we were in a very peaceful place. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> Sorry, I had a cold like three or four weeks ago and then I was just
coughing non-stop for the last however many days since. Is that it? Okay. Oh, that was it. You know what? Desolate Feelings Award. Let's do one more. One more. The Basement. Well, it loads. Alright, so I need to see something here. Okay, so it disconnected me from the game. So we've done the lobby, storage units, left behind, memories, and neon pools. And we we're supposed to go to the basement. But you know what? Let me see. How many how many do we have all together here? I'm just gonna count real fast. Okay, so we have 17 total levels and we've done one, two, three, four, five, six. Or we've done five. So we'll do the basement. And then we will call it for this video. And we'll leave. We'll probably do it in like three. So we'll probably do like six levels at a time per video and go through this whole game. So let's do the basement real quick and then we'll call it. Okay. wonder what we got going on here. It's like the same kind of lighting situation like we had in the storage units. Uh oh. Okay. It's so hot near these vents, I should stay away from them. Oh, like those? Yeah, that makes sense. The hair smells dusty and old, like an old basement. Well, no shit, because that's where we are. <laughs> so, heat exhaustion, heat stroke. I know I've definitely had heat exhaustion before. That I 100% know that. Oh, we're finding... Cool, I didn't know we were doing that. Alright, so we did that. Yeah, I didn't realize we were finding multiple of those. Um, okay. I'm not sure what the significance of the house was, but... find generators and them turned on. Oh, am I getting heat exhaustion right now? That's ex 
exactly what was happening. There's nothing in here. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Insane. We're almost out, we're almost out, we're almost out, we're almost out, we're almost out. Dude, this game's crazy. I like the fact that they have actually have that implemented. I definitely like that this game has a cool variety of like puzzles and different types of threats. So it's not just actual like monsters and entities. Like you actually have to worry about like environmental threats too. Like that's actually kind of cool. This is over here. That's a weird chair, I'll say. Oh, we're so close, we're so close, we're so close, we're so close. find whatever the other door was and then oh. okay I'm very confused right now what am I supposed to be doing here because um It didn't even dawn on me that there was a whole other path. I like the tiny valve on there. So if we go up and to the left, there's more, right? Or I'm just going to screw myself and die. Another one? Are you fucking kidding? That's absolutely what it was. There was a whole other... Oh. Just run. Run, 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 run. What was the point of that other door? Up uh, either way, we made it. Alright. 
right, so that takes us out of that level at least now. So, all right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for part one of my little playthrough for the Liminal Archives on Roblox. So far, I'm really enjoying this game so far. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's like I said before. It's got a nice mix of some different elements. Like, there's some really cool puzzles. Like, they don't like some of them. They kind of explain them out, even if or they kind of spell it out, even if it's kind of weird at first. And then there's some where you definitely got to figure it out on your own. And then I do like the mix for the threads. That there's a mix of both like entity type threats and environmental hazards. Like in the whole basement thing, we just hit all the things with the heat. So I do like that there's a different mix of gameplay in this. It's not just one type of thing the whole way through. Yeah, we've gone through six levels now out of the 17. So we'll just do this in three parts. Next video we'll do like five or six levels, and then the last video we'll just do whatever's left. Just assuming it doesn't take too long, it might cause another video, I don't know. But thank you guys for much hanging out and watching this. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below for what you did enjoy in the video, and as well as what you want to see next. But thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.